Cincinnati's top prosecutor is a big supporter of the Child Victims Act. As I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Speck tells us, the district attorney believes recent abuse cases in western New York show a need for fundamental change. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn had a lot to say when sexual abuse allegations came out at the Nichols School in January. When I read through it, um, I was obviously disgusted. Flynn says he's just as sick seeing the recent abuse allegations surrounding a former priest. And Flynn is a practicing Catholic. Do you feel as strongly about what happened there? Absolutely. I, 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 my, my resolve in getting this passed uh, has never wavered. If anything, he said the allegations against former priest Norbert Orsolitz and a rare admission of guilt by the priest published in the Buffalo News make the matter even more pressing. What we've seen now uh, the past couple of days in the paper and, and, the, and, and the problems that we've seen with the Catholic Church here uh, goes to the point even more in the sense that we need to have this bill passed. The law would allow authorities to bring priests like Orsolitz, who now lives in Springville, to justice, even if their accusers are too traumatized to come forward right away. If we had no statute of limitations on any of the sex crimes, then I could go back and I could prosecute that priest. Orsolitz would be grandfathered in and could not be prosecuted under the new law, but future abusers would no longer have time on their side. If any individual who was, say, molested today comes forward 30 years from now, 20 years from now, I could then prosecute the perpetrator who did it then. Now, two of the main groups opposed to the law's passage are the Catholic Church and the Boy Scouts of America. They take issue with changing the civil part of the statute of limitations, and for now the bill is stalled in the Republican State Senate. Flynn, though, says an easy solution here is passing the criminal part now and worrying about the civil issues at a later date. Now, if you have a tip for the I-Team about priest abuse or any sort of other abuse, call our tip line at 840-7750, or if it's easier, send us an email at iteam at wkbw.com. Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Charlie